If you're struggling to close your first deal, listen up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started and close your first deal within the next 30 days. If this is your first time here, my name is Nick Estes. I'm a seven figure real estate investor and my goal is to help a thousand people create financial freedom. Now, if you haven't closed a deal yet, make sure you pay attention. I'm gonna lay this all out for you, all right? So make sure you stay to the end. You're gonna get the complete blueprint. All right, let's get into it. How to close your first deal in the next 30 days. All right, so you need three things, all right? And I'm gonna give you how to do this right now. The first thing you need is a process that is very quick, right? It's fast. You need something that's very simple. If you're just starting off, it can be complicated. And three, you have to use leverage. Leverage other people to help you do this, all right? So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the three steps. Now, the first step in any real estate deal is finding motivated sellers, okay? So the key is just finding people who are motivated enough to sell at a discount, right? Eventually, over time, someone's gonna get motivated where they would say, you know what, heck, I'm gonna take a low ball offer on my property because I need to get out of the situation that I'm in. You provide them value with fast cash in exchange for a little bit of equity in their property. Now, to do this, if you have no money, I'm assuming if you're just starting off, you probably don't have a huge marketing budget. Now, if you, if you do not, there's two ways that I recommend you get out there and start finding these motivated seller leads, all right? Now, these are gonna be the easiest ways and the low-hanging fruit because you know they're motivated. Number one is just make mass on-market offers. Now, these can be anywhere in the country. If, you're, if your goal is to wholesale, you can do this anywhere in the country. It doesn't have to be in your backyard. The whole idea here is volume. You have to be making a lot of offers. I recommend at least 20 offers per day, okay? Now, this is very simple. Look for properties that, you know, have been sitting on the market, ideally, for over 60 days. Now, this is gonna give you a great advantage because eventually, once someone's been trying to sell something for a long enough time, they would consider selling at a discount. Think about it this way. If you're out there trying to sell your car and you put it on, on Craigslist, right, for $10,000 and someone offers you $5,000 the first day it's sitting there, you probably say no. But eventually, after a couple months and you haven't sold it and you need the cash, you may consider a lower offer, right? So eventually, time is on your side here. So look for properties who have been sitting on the MLS for a long period of time and just start making a lot of offers, 20 per day. Eventually, you will find someone who's motivated enough to say yes, okay? Now, the second way here is look for pre-foreclosures, right? Now, you know these people are motivated as well. All right, now obviously they're going through a lot of financial pain and if they don't sell their property, the bank's gonna take it back. So they need to sell. Once again, high motivation, right? So for this year, the highest way of uh, converting these people is to actually knock on their door. So this is something you wanna do in your local market. It doesn't matter where you are. Go out there, knock on the door or just leave a note on the door, letting them know you're looking to buy a property in the area. Now, there's hundreds of ways to find motivated sellers, but if you don't have much of a budget, I find that those two ways are gonna be the easiest way to start because you know, one, if it's on the MLS, they wanna sell, right? So that makes it very simple. And number two, if they're in pre-foreclosure, you know that they have to come up with a solution very quickly. Now, step two here in the process is to simply qualify these people to see if they are motivated or not, right? Now, what I mean by this is you have to go out there and just start making offers. Now that you've identified who you want to talk to, you make your offers, and based on your offer, it will tell you if they are motivated or not, right? So you're gonna ask, if it's off market, you're gonna ask how much they want for the property. And if it qualifies, you know that they're motivated. Same thing, if it's on market, and you're making on market offers, you just have to call the realtor up very simply and say, listen, I'm an investor. Would your seller consider selling to an investor for a cash offer? I would have to be around this price. Now, a very simple way to tell if someone's motivated or not is if they are willing to take 80% or less of what the property is worth. Now, this doesn't have to be the exact value. This can be the Zillow Zestimate, right? Or the Realtor.com value or the Redfin value, any of these, right? So if the value on there says $100,000 and they will tell you they will take 80,000 or less for that property, they're probably motivated, all right? Now this is a very, very simple rule of thumb. Once again, our idea here is we have to be very fast, simple and leverage, right? We have to leverage other people. So this is number two, is come up with a very fast and simple way to qualify these people to know if they're motivated or not. 
Now, step three here is to leverage other people to help you close these deals. Now, obviously wholesaling, the concept is simple, but if you've never closed your first deal or not, it can be complicated. There's a lot of moving parts, right? And if you haven't closed a deal, you probably realize and you get overwhelmed with all the different steps and what you have to do and negotiating and make sure you give it for the right price and finding buyers, right? There's a lot of different steps to the process. So what you should be doing here, if you wanna close a deal really, really quickly, is to leverage other people. Find someone that you trust, that you can partner with to help you start closing deals, all right? You wanna squat up with these people, and what they can do is they can actually help you negotiate it, get the contract signed to find buyers, and help you through the entire process for a percentage of the profit. Now, the beautiful part about this is, yes, you don't make all the profit, but you can make money super quickly. And that's what you need when you're starting off. Eventually, once you close a few deals, get some money in the bank, then you can do the entire process yourself. But if you wanna start generating money quickly in the next 30 days, you need to leverage other people's knowledge and skills and teams to help you get there faster. Now, it doesn't matter who you choose, just make sure you have someone with a track record that can help you do this correctly. Now, I actually do have a partnership program if this is something you're interested in, you would actually like myself and my team to help you start closing deals. Just go to profitnowprogram.com and I can actually help you and team up with you and my team can help you start closing deals in the next 30 days, right? That's what we're talking about, how to start profiting quickly, profiting now so we can get out there and negotiate these deals for you. Get the contract signed, find the buyers and help you throughout the entire process. If that's something you're interested, Go there now and I would love to help you start doing deals and be part of my team. And the beautiful part about teaming up with myself and my team is I only make money when you make money, right? So it's my best interest to make sure you have all the tools and knowledge to get out there to start generating leads so we can actually help you close deals. Remember, we're partners. I only make money when you make money. So it's in my best interest to make sure you are successful. So that's it. That's the three steps to start closing deals in the next 30 days. If you like this type of content, make sure you like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and follow me on all the socials. I'll see you in the next one.